Hey everybody, in today's video we are talking about do-it-yourself brain toys from everyday items you can find at home. Hey everybody, I'm Denise Mazzola, this is Geo. We're from Everything Dog, where we produce videos on behavior and training to help you live a more fulfilled life with your best friend. Today it's all about do-it-yourself brain games. First, let me just explain what a brain game is. It's also called a brain toy or a brain or a puzzle toy for your dogs. When your dogs are hunting or seeking via real life or through a brain game, they're releasing massive amounts of dopamine in their brain. Why is that important, Denise? Because it's super reinforcing and they love to do it. All of our dogs were bred to do something and the vast majority have a hunting background. So if you're not a hunter, you can still help fulfill some of your dog's genetic cup by providing brain toys. We're gonna to talk about water bottles, we're gonna talk about muffin tins, we're gonna talk about bones that you got laying around the house, and we are going to talk about egg cartons. So let me just give a disclaimer at the very beginning. If your dog has a history of ingesting foreign objects or eating things that they're not supposed to, then you're gonna to have to temper what we're doing here today to fit what's appropriate for your dog, okay? All right, first one the average bone that you have laying around the house. Don't throw them away, recycle them. You can put a little swath of peanut butter and this peanut butter, just as an aside, is labeled dog so that we don't put this on our sandwiches or on our apples or bananas, which we like to have peanut butter on. Okay, so put a little, a little dab will do ya, little swath of peanut butter in the, in the bone however much you use is really dependent on what your dog's tummy will tolerate right now. Now Gio can have peanut butter, but if he has a lot of peanut butter, he's definitely going to get an ear issue. and He's probably going to get some diarrhea from that. So he won't be getting all of these leftovers today. Then I'm just going to drop some kibble in here. You can pack it in and this can be, this can become a pretty quick brain toy. Okay. Now, before I go any further, I just want to remind you when might you use some of these. One, you could feed your dog out of almost any brain toy. You could feed them their meal out of a brain toy. It's really a disservice to just put down a metal dish on the floor and in 30 seconds, or if you're Geo, in about five seconds, the food's gone. What are they going to do for the rest of the day? Okay, so a brain toy is great for that. You can do that 365 days a year if you want. Here in New Hampshire, we tend to start to feed out of brain toys when the weather gets really bad. So like today, it's beautiful, it's sunny, but it's minus seven. Eh, we're probably gonna feed out of brain toys. We may not be walking today. We're pretty hardy, but that's kind of chilly. Okay, you could use brain toys when you get on a Zoom call. Or if you're helping your kids on a Zoom call, prepare it ahead of time, give your dog a brain toy. If you're doing some home alone training, give your dog a brain toy, go walk around the block, come back. The dog is gonna love having you leave the house because you are presenting them with a fantastic thing to do in your absence, okay? You can give them a brain toy in their crate just to help them adjust to the crate, just to give them something to do and get them out of your hair. And if you wanna sit down at the end of the day and watch Netflix or Hulu or whatever your, whatever your passion is, they could have a brain toy then as well. Okay, so that's the bones, and that is why you, when and why you would use a brain toy. You can also stuff them. I'm showing kibble and peanut butter. You can use whipped cream cheese. You can use your dog's canned food. Um, some of the other foods that I have here are, are, I have cheap pork chops from the store that I've grilled for Geo. I have meatballs that are from our local, local grocery store, frozen, cooked, I cut them up, loves them. I have cut up cheddar cheese sticks for him here, and I also have some hot dogs. So variety is the spice of life. Again, knowing what your dog can tolerate. I know that Gio can tolerate all of these things with the exception of too much peanut butter. I just don't have any cream cheese, but he could tolerate that as well. Okay, so let's go to the bottles. Everybody's got these water bottles, and if you have, and most dogs just love crunching and biting on these things. But in terms of brain games, 
This one is the most difficult because the opening is the smallest, okay? So don't start here if your dog is new to brain games. You wanna start with a larger bottle with a larger opening, okay? So I would pick this one even over this Gatorade bottle because the opening's slightly bigger. Now, I didn't fill this all the way up, but if this was Gio's first time with a, um, with a brain toy, hold, then, I would fill this baby up to about halfway so that when it tipped over, all this food is quickly gonna fall right out and he's gonna get instant gratification, instant gratification. As the dog gets better, we can make it more challenging. But to start, we need it to be super easy, very reinforcing right off the bat so the dog's like, oh, I love this, I love this game, okay? So don't worry your dog isn't gonna eat all that food because not all of it's gonna come out of the brain toy. So fill it up, let them get busy with it, let them bang it around, get the food out, and when they're done with it, you can pick it up or you can always play the switch game and remove it beforehand if you need them to. As they get better at it, you can progress to the smaller mouth bottles. Okay, and they, you know, once they get crushed up and stuff, you can still use them. Again, if your dog is gonna shred through the bottle and not solve the puzzle that way, this may not be the best thing for you. I don't want your dog to ingest any of the plastic, right? So again, always knowing what your dog is, know who your dog is, and these could be done under supervision. Okay, next, and one of my super easy peasy one is um, egg cartons. It's just a regular cardboard egg carton. I like that it has these holes so you can see the eggs through it because the food will, Come right out of that, perfect. So to start with, if you have a puppy or a dog that's never done this before, you're just going to put food in the carton like this and you're gonna set it on the floor just like that. After a couple days of them sorting it out, super, right, then you can go to the next step. You could use a plastic egg carton, not uh, maybe styrofoam, again, if your dog is not going to eat it. Um, you could put it down. I could do that with Geo. He doesn't tend to shred or eat things, so I could use a plastic one, I could use a styrofoam one. Okay, once your dog has this, and you may go through several, you know, several um, egg cartons in this process, then you're just gonna close it. And, and maybe you just close it so it's just like this. Depending on your dog, how curious they are, how easily they're frustrated, continue to make it easy for them, right? This is not a test. This is not, oh, let's see if I can frustrate the heck out of my dog. No, then they're gonna bark and be annoying and they're not gonna eat out of it and then you're gonna get worried about it. So, super easy, just close the top so that the dog can whip it open and get the food. Whip it open and get the food, great. Then the third step, just, just do it like a regular egg carton. They can toss it around, they can shred it apart to get the food out, perfect, as long as they're not eating the food, okay? I mean, sorry, as long as they're not eating the carton. We want them to eat the food. Okay, then sort of the last thing to make it even more difficult, you can use however much tape you want, but then you're gonna just tape this sucker closed so it won't fall open right away. And then they have to really work to get the food out of these holes or they could rip it apart to get the food. Okay, egg cartons, super easy and a lot of fun. All right, last but not least, let's talk about muffin tins. The first step, just put food in the muffin tins and put this on the floor for your dog to eat. And yes, I would probably use separate muffin tins just for the dog, right? So just put it down on the floor so the dog can get used to eating just out of this and sort through how to get the food out. If your dog is a little worried about things sliding, then put it on carpet or put the muffin tin on a yoga mat that's around the house so that it will sort of stick and it won't slide around and scare them if the sound will bother them. Second step, once the dog has this, now you're gonna, we're just gonna put tennis balls, but you could put something else on there. Just be creative. Now the dog either has to remove the tennis ball to get to the food. Some dogs will eat around the tennis ball to get to the food. And in this case, I would probably, if this were a new learner, I'd probably leave two open, super easy, and I would cover two with the, with the tennis balls. And then once the dog totally has this down, they understand it, you could cover the whole thing with that. Now, this is not gonna take the dog as long to solve as maybe the egg carton or 
probably the water bottle would take the longest, but it will still be an enriching activity for your dog to do. And again, it doesn't matter what size you use. Okay. All right, you guys. So today we were talking about do-it-yourself brain games with everyday items that you have around the house. We talked about egg cartons, the steps to get your dog to eat out of an egg carton. We talked about the water bottles, the bones that you have laying around, as well as the muffin tins. And remember, you can feed your dog out of brain toys, get rid of the bowl, feed them out of a variety of brain toys, not just one. You're gonna need to, you're gonna need to have variety. Variety is the spice of life, is what my dad always said. Um, if you're getting on a Zoom meeting, get a brain toy ready. If you need some peace of quiet, get a brain toy ready. And just provide your dogs with some brain games to help them fill their genetic cup, which is to hunt and seek out food. All right, you guys, until next time, have fun with your dog.